And more tributes for Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins after he's killed while trying to cross 595. But this morning, questions remain about what happened on that busy highway. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live with more. Brooke? Maribel and Candace, it could be several weeks, several months, in fact, before we have any final answers into what happened here into the death of Dwayne Haskins Jr. Troopers tell us it could take about three months to complete this investigation. Of course, a big question. Why was he walking on the highway in Broward County early Saturday morning? Traffic homicide detectives are looking into that right now. We know that Haskins was in South Florida to train with some other players. As you mentioned this morning, tributes are still pouring in. Troopers said the NFL quarterback was walking on I-595 early Saturday. FHP said the 24-year-old tried to walk across the highway and was hit by oncoming traffic. You know, it's hard to wrap your mind around something like this, especially when it just happened so tragically to a young person, <clears throat> especially somebody who had such a big heart. It's still hard to kind of get our feet underneath us and, and see clearly right now, but uh, we all are hurting. And FHP sent out a release yesterday, really just saying that the investigation is still ongoing. They said that would be its final update until traffic homicide detectives complete their investigation, which again, they said could take about three months. In Sweetwater, Brooke Schaefer, CBS4, this morning.